Recall the IS relation from tutorial 11. The IS relation extends the basic Keynesian model, assuming that aggregate expenditure, AE, and equilibrium Y are affected by the nominal interest rate, I, as reflected in this term. The channel through which the interest rate affects aggregate expenditure and equilibrium output and income is the monetary transmission mechanism. That is, an increase in the interest rate decreases consumption and investment and consequently aggregate expenditure that, in turn, decreases equilibrium Y. Recall from tutorial 11 that the central bank can set the interest rate directly. That is, the interest rate is exogenous, I bar, or indirectly by way of a change in the nominal money supply. That is, the money supply is exogenous, M bar. However, it appears that the supply of real money balances may also decrease if the price level, P, increases. Thus, assuming that the central bank keeps the nominal money supply, MS bar, constant, an increase in the price level decreases the supply of real money balances, increases the interest rate, and decreases consumption, investment, aggregate expenditure, and equilibrium output and income. Since the decrease in Y is generated by a decrease in the supply of real money balances, we call the negative relationship between the price level, P, and Y, the real balance effect. It appears that there is now another source of change in the interest rate, and in the change in equilibrium output and income it generates. In addition to exogenous changes in either the money supply, M bar, or in the interest rate, I bar, the interest rate and equilibrium output and income are now affected by the real balance effect, that is, by a change in the economy's price level. We can reflect the effect of the price level, P, on equilibrium output and income, Y, as in this relation where the B indicates the effect on aggregate expenditure of a change in the price level. And the fraction is the multiplier, indicating the effect of a change in AE on equilibrium Y, so that this term indicates the real balance effect. This relation is the aggregate demand, or AD relation. Notice that the AD relation is simply the IS relation, where this term has been adjusted to reflect the effect of a change in the price level on equilibrium Y, that is, to reflect the real balance effect.